Welcome to Show 83, man. It's your boy L Boog. Boobie Poo-Wop. Boo Wop. J Marie. Hey, hey, hey. Wahondo. In the building. Hey, he's back finally. Hey, hey, I'm in that A. Hey. Say. Hey. Tell me the what? Missing a week. Shit, hey, you know, things happen, brother. What, what was you doing? What happened? Hmm? It's my nephew's birthday, so I took him to, you know, <laughs> to the court. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, you, so you abandoned us for see the I use a sick day, bro. You get a sick day and PTO. I use a sick day. You didn't use PTO? Oh, nah. You ain't got, you got no floaters? What? I said no days no, off. I paid vacation. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> All right. Then this my last episode. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Show 83. Y'all know what it is, man. It's a whole nother week, a whole nother Saturday. Uh, we got a great show for y'all today. First, we're going to be talking about Sandy Hook and their PSA. We're also going to be talking about, um, well, we got a guest that's supposed to be here. Zyra? Zero? Damn. Uh, you're bro. always messing up our guest names, I, I though. Do, I, I wasn't even going to bandwagon because I was going to tear it all up. I'm sorry. I was going to probably. You got a guest coming mm-hmm. through. Our guest Zyra, she's supposed to be here today. At, I thought it was Zero. Uh, we ain't going to focus on the name. Let's all right, let's keep going. We're just going to. Not butcher the name anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. Move right along. Coming up today. Um, also, we got our petty person of the week. Oh. Our question of the day, STFD. All that, all that. All of that. I think I want to start off with the petty person because that shit is horrible. Oh, we're going to start off with, we, we're not going to start off with the petty person. Wow. We're actually about to throw to this video from Sandy Hook. Right, right, right. Uh, for the people who have not seen it. For those of you who have not seen it, yeah, that is, this Y'all gonna see this this video, and we got somebody that I'm actually gonna bring out here and let him. He think it's funny. <laughs> he, go ahead and throw to the video real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? So we Show can get back to this and discuss this video and see how it is. This year, my mom got me the perfect bag for back to school. These colorful binders help me stay organized. These headphones are just what I need for studying. These new sneakers are just what I need for the new year. This jacket is a real must-have. My parents got me the skateboard I wanted. It's pretty cool. These scissors really come in handy in art class. These colored pencils, too. These new socks, they can be a real lifesaver. I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. Stop laughing. Was the, the video laughing. is not so funny. That was a Sandy Hook video oh, right there. My bad. Man. It's not funny. Um, don't get me wrong, I understand the reasoning for the need of the videos, which I think is a sad thing that we need a PSA. Oh. That video, though, that PSA. You have not seen that. Let's not get into racism, guys. There was nobody we're shooting. You didn't not, even see nobody that. coming. So I don't think it's necessary for a PSA when it comes to school shooting because that's not regular, even though they're high. They're all regular. 154 right. a year. That makes yeah. it average more than the birthday, goddammit. Yeah. So we need to start having PSAs for fire drills and stuff like that then, right? Well, no. Yeah, well, they, they do. They, they do. They do have PSAs. No! They definitely used to. Whoa. Right. <laughs> the PSA didn't tell me at school we're running a drill right now. For, mm-hmm. now, we, now we need to do a mass murder drill. A mass murder drill. That's yeah, because crazy. you might be part of a mass murder, bro. This is so what life has I just happened to see. To. This, this, this is the thing, though. What I happened to see when I saw that video when I saw that commercial, um, was, it was too much. Like, you know, you got the one girl tying up another girl's leg with <laughs> her sock, talking about my parents got me these socks, these brand new socks, they come in handy. Kevlar socks. Like, yo, <laughs> you're sitting here, like that's too much. You know you what they're the doing? You got the girl in, in the closet that is type, 
type text her I, mom. Was she in the closet? I thought she was in the bathroom. Like, not just talk. in the closet. Or the little boy using a skateboard to uh, uh, break out the window. window. <laughs> Do you know what that's doing? What? What's that doing? All that's doing is normalizing it. That is true. They're trying to normalize the fact that there's at least 154 mass shootings every day in school, and this is the regular thing that you may go through, and it's okay. And it's not. That's what that commercial is doing. It's, it's normal. Like, yes, it's, it's definitely, definitely normalizing it. Yeah. It's normalizing it. I can, it's I can a normal see where that's coming from. No, it's a normal it's thing. Not it's, normal. It's, not, it's not a normal thing. That's not something we should But it is a normal thing, thing in our society. Yeah, in our society. Unfortunately. Well, let me take that back. It's not nothing that we should not be preparing for. Definitely, I think they should have, like, like fire drills in school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, to make it normalized, like you said, no, that's not... The fact that you even created a commercial like that... Facts. Like, you know what I mean? Back to school commercial was like... Okay, seriously. Buy new Kevlar socks. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm with Brandon a little bit. I think this shit is funny. <laughs> you think it's funny? Bulletproof socks. The the actual visual of it is funny. Mm -hmm. The message of it is not funny. So what made the visual out of it funny? She's running, talking about. My mom got these sneakers. Oh yeah, hey, my mom bought me some new sneakers. My mom bought me these new like these new Air Max twos. Right. <laughs> Now I can get away from the bullets. Back, like, like, we, the bullets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What about them bulletproof <laughs> blankets they talking about to put out the kids in school? Just, if you got a man shirt, just lay, just lay, just lay under this blanket. Stop. Hold on. You just fast you forward past that. Like, you ain't yeah, yeah, like a little they bulletproof. Not, no, no, I'm sorry. Not blankets. They're, they're book bags. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard like book bags. If there's a man shirt, just hide behind this book bag. Little eyes book bag. I'm not about to hide behind the jam sport. They try to normalize it, man. They try to make so, it feel like it's not a bad thing. The thing that I find interesting about or this being topic prepared. is the fact that there are people out there like, oh, it's this. This just made me open up my eyes too. <laughs> when I was watching this on the news, it was like, yes, it just it just gives us a, a perspective that this is something that's going on that we need to be mindful of it. And it's like, y'all, <clears> this is not normal. This is not normal. Why are we making it seem as if this is normal when it's not? But it's, um, it is a normal thing now, though. That's the thing. That's the it's issue. It's not just because we had one, maybe two shooting. It's, it's not. <laughs> 100, <laughs> 100, <laughs> 100, <laughs> 100. <laughs> but it is. It's 156 so, of them. Okay, so if you want to say school shootings, that's exaggerated. Mass shootings, okay, I can do that. I'm going for school, mass shootings. Okay, mass shootings, yes. School no, shooting, we're talking about school shootings. School shootings is not that because of they consider, like I was just saying earlier, they consider. If you shoot a street away from a, a school, mm -hmm. it's considered and goes you're in into the school statistics. Zone. Yes, you are in the school zone. It goes into statistics as a school shooting, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It don't go into school. You're shooting in a school zone. It's not going to go into statistics as a school it shooting. Goes into the a school shooting is actually shooting at a school. A school I'm zone trying, I'm trying is different. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> we are not about to do this. <laughs> no, we're not going to stay. We're not going to do it. Right. Do it. Right. Y'all missed this. Y'all missed the spiciness last week? Latinos who do I'm just mad you had to look at each other to confirm no, that Wepa is, is a Spanish word. <laughs> I'm really mad about that. Confirm that Wepa was a Spanish word. I looked at him because he said it wrong. I, I said, Wepa. Oh, got, gotcha. Like, help. Look. All right. Moving Spanish on. 101. <laughs> Get to get I am teaching it. <laughs> so, basically, you know what I'm saying? You don't think that the PSA was necessary? No, think it, I don't think so. It's normalizing it, bro. It's stupid. You don't think it was necessary? No, I, don't, I, I think, think it's normalizing it. I think it's, it. I think it's comical. back to school clothing thing. Yeah, because they definitely. Wait, was it a Macy's commercial? No, it was a Sandy Hook PSA. Yeah. So, are you going to start having mass, mass shooting drills in the school they now? They already do. Wow. They've been doing that for two years now. You know the crazy part about the mass shootings? And this is this real shit. Like, um, you know, I Brownsville, Brooklyn, I grew up. Shout out to New York. No, I'm just fucking talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, my public school, all the way to high school, you know what them shit's had in them? Metal what detectors. Wait, Why the what? fuck all these mad shooting schools that this shit's happening? <clears throat> Don't have metal detectors. Don't have metal detectors. <laughs> no, you're absolutely correct. Niggas, no, don't, niggas ain't sorry. doing mad shooters, bro. I'm sorry. They're not going to have a, ma a metal detector in an elementary school. Why not? Mine did. Now school. they might. Mine did, and this was in the 80s. <laughs> in the elementary school? Facts. In the 80s? Facts. 1880s? No, nigga. 1980s. God. <laughs> no, I'm, talking about like, I'm talking about like a 90s. You was in school in the 80s? Oh. 
Yeah. I was too. Hold on, player. Y'all are old. Y'all old, old. Y'all look old, though. All right, move <laughs> <on>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, move it on. We had... Wow. <laughs> 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 we are not doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all special. But now, nah, for real, like, like, dead ass. Like, my, my, my public school had metal detectors in it. Junior high school, metal detectors. And I went to a gifted junior high school. I was a smart dummy. You know what I mean? Like, for real, like, I, I was smart as hell. But I used to do a lot of stupid shit. I, mean, I was a smart dummy. I was smart. I do a lot of dumb shit. Like, yeah. so a, no, but just like you, you was said, a dumb ass smart nigga. Yeah, yeah you gonna put it like that. Facts, but yeah. just like you said, they definitely should put. Metal, metal detectors. There we go. <laughs> I don't. I, 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 metal detectors I see, should be it necessary. It should be oh, right. It should be a, 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 get it out, baby. Get it out. Do it two more times. Get it man. Out. Do it. Go, babe. <laughs> it should be necessary. <laughs> Right, because <laughs> it's safety. The, 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 the goal is kids' safety, right? Uh -huh. exactly. Why do you have a guy with pepper spray watching these kids? In my public school, there was actual NYPD. Yeah. Uh -huh. You feel me? Public school, junior high so school. The thing that y'all going school. hold on. The thing that y'all going off of with this also though is New York. One. But this is, is worldwide. New York. If this Most. is a PSA, public service announcement. That means it's worldwide. Most so of these places, hold on, but most of these places can't afford it. Do not have huh. that New York mentality. Hey, it's not about it's mentality. A it's public about, it's service about announcement. So that like means it's saying, happening everywhere. There's a strategy to building a business, right? Oh, God, <laughs> oh I'm going live. What the hell are we talking about? Oh, so man. there's a strategy to building a business, right? If you follow these steps, you can have a successful business. Mm -hmm. If I follow this protocol to put in security detectors, metal detectors mm -hmm. in the school, this can prevent that. No. And you're not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Just because we're from New York, don't mean That's because, you know it, it means a big difference because of this. Because of, because of racism. Oh, well, it's not it's racism. not racism. There you go. Metal detectors in my schools. What school you went to? I grew up in the hoods of Columbus, Ohio. You grew up, but what school you went to? I went to. Nigga, we went Shredder to high school. Is that, is that a hood school? It used to. Yes, it definitely used to be. Okay. Um, I went to Hudson. I went to Linmore. I went to Northland High School. Oh, oh that makes sense. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the school he went to. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. Hashtag. You go to? <laughs> wow. Hashtag Vikings. Now. That's why you're dumb as hell. <laughs> Actually, I was a smart, dumb nigga like you, but I was a little bit smarter. I wasn't that dumb, dumb. So if you were smarter than dumb, that makes you dumb, Murph? Uh, you the average, <laughs> you the average. average nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was. A dumb jock. There you go. I uh, wish where, ever where? Me a dumb jock. So, like I was saying. You the smart jock like the beast along. from the X-Men. <laughs> I will fuck you up, but, you know, I want to read my encyclopedia <laughs> first. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, minus so, the blueness. No, that's Thanks. what I'm saying though, because in different places, you know, there's a different <laughs> mindset, community, and everything. There's a different mindset. Like I said, I never grew up with metal metal in my school, but the school that I went to was here in Columbus was considered hood, except for North. It's just because I think it's stupid. I guess to me, I just want to know why they didn't have metal detectors. Well, one, we didn't have mass shootings back then. We, I don't think we had a Yeah, you know why they have them in New they York either? They have them in New York either because they have fucking metal detectors. Well, we okay, wait, wait. Here, but okay, we don't so have the, point, but the point that I'm trying to make is that what? we never came across mass shootings neither. Time out, time out. We came four. across kids being dumb, bringing guns to school. Right, we bring that to school. That's what started that. But they need to shoot the nigga that no, they got beef with no, at no, school. To, so the point that I'm trying to make is that why, if your school's was as bad as everybody else is claiming them. How come you didn't have metal hey, what, what I mean, The little Timmy's gonna bring an AK-47. Well, well, Rashad is only bringing a 2.5. <laughs> and six fucking bullets. If Why don't we have metal detectors in school? Okay, let's start there. Like Put them in all schools. Was, uh, a little bit too much. Definitely, I agree. Only, I, like, honestly, only the last two months. I think it was too, what is the word, vulgar? It was too, it was just Definitely. too, like, it was like a horror shock. scene. It was like, real. It was. This is the reality that your child might have to go through one day. Unfortunately, hopefully none of our kids are going to put them in bad schools. But it's this not is a reality. It is a reality. It's not. I mean, it's something that's happening. Not yours, it's like, but it is a reality. Yeah. 
You don't, you're not going through it physically, so it's not your reality, but it's actually reality. There are people that go through mad shit. You know what's so sick about this, though? It is sad. That nine times out of these ten mass shootings, these kids don't even, I mean, the people that are shooting up these schools don't even go there. It's like crazy nah. people, like, no, nah. his mom worked there and he came in and shot up the well, whole school. Yeah, yes, like, that's, what, that's what I mean. But he but, didn't even attend that school, right. is he what I mean. Like, he's probably in the airplane. It's like, not even, I'm just saying, like, man, his mom like, is just spending like, more time like, with them kids. Up, kids brought guns to school. Right. And that was just, a, oh, I'm a tough guy. Yeah. But now these people are getting killed by people that What's don't even, shit? don't, that's not even in altercations at the school. You know that's what I mean? That's why. So it's just that's even that's what makes it even more scarier. No, you know this is like, like you don't know what can trigger a bug to come to school and shoot. Because <laughs> 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 I was because I was because I was looking at you. My bad. And you, we ain't you said gonna say Timmy. I, I so. felt like a bug was a perfect. You could have said so. Timmy or Jim Bob or something. Bug, you definitely you right, but you dress like a mass shooter. How do I dress like? <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> On that note, man, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have any personal Damn. Speech, and we got the question of the day for y'all. Stay tuned. Show 83. We'll be right back. Hey. So. No, we're no, still. We're still. We still on there. I cannot remember days, I cannot remember waves, I cannot remember sh probably won't remember this. It took a lot of work. Hey, thanks just not getting it, not been and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Posters for Molly Water. Blue people pumping and polywag. Uzi La Redbone ain't got no ass. She like Versace and Prada bag. Pricey, she draped up a shopping tag. Icy, her land is Baraka air. Slipped and almost let him knock her air. Look up, now King Jotham got her air. She need a pop up on body bag. Her chips cost me in a whip sponsor. But I'm young and black with a big eye, so she can't seem to keep her lips on. Hey, and all I do is show off to go off so I can keep this door off. Show off to go off so I can keep this door off. Hey, show off to go off so I can keep this door off. And so on and so on. It took a lot of naps, sleeping cause fools don't know how to rap It's a bad for rappers who try to test, sources say the scene was quite grotesque Crowning me king while I crown a jester, that is still kind of the goose feather You wanna be king but you still a peasant, I taught your wife how to cook a pheasant Sauce out the kitchen, you get the essence, throw it on my skin when she kissed the necklace Rapper nowadays ain't no shit for flexing, this how they sound if you get the message Hey, it took a lot of work Thanks just snacking and napping and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. It took a lot of work. Thanks just snacking and napping and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a bitch bag. Bitch bag. This bad, this bad, this bad, this Toasting up to never giving a fuck My whole life exposed, living corrupt yeah. Baby showers at the gentleman's club yeah. Smacking booty, throwing Benjamins up yeah. But freak the blacks like the middle ten up oh, hey. Ish bag at the credit union uh. Walk in the courtroom, hella zooted yeah. Middle finger to your institution uh. I said lean daiquiris, I'm draping juice uh. Sauce dripping, I be camel soup dripping Two door for sure, yeah, crazy coop I drop the top and show the Betty Boop My life is a movie Ooh. full of skits and bloopers yeah. I should write a novel, hey. publish hey. distribution Hey. Bag of dying meter, it's at nine. Take her on a flight and leave her in Hawaii. Right. Go and find her little sister at the track. Damn, an ish bag of re at his fine job. A douchebag, because I had to put up with you, fat. Look, it took a lot of work. Hey, hey. Thanks for snacking and nothing and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. It took a lot of work. Thanks for snacking and nothing and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a bitch bag.
everlasting summer It's your boy L Bug and Jay Marie sitting over here on the couch yeah. with me. Booby Boo Wop and Juan Hondo. They got the boot. They, <laughs> they got the boot. <laughs> <laughs> we sitting here with Miss Zaire. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying right. You know what I'm saying? I only had to hear it once. We were demolished. Yeah. I got a great yeah. memory. My so, bad. you know what I'm saying? I remember names when they're said to me the right way. Um, so, I, I didn't have a chance. It's cool. I didn't <laughs> have a chance. Nah, you didn't have a chance at all. But, Miss Zaire is in the building with us, a uh, musical artist. Yes, sir. She has done a few big things lately. Actually, she's opened, you've opened up for the Brat. Yes, sir. Music Soul Child, John B. Check her out. Uh, Bushwick Bill. Bushwick Bill. <laughs> R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? Done some big things, you know. How did you get into, how was you able to get to all of that with no manager? Yeah, I, I, I was going to bring that right through. <laughs> <laughs> right through. So, um, um, I have a lot of connections in the city. Um, I got the Bushwick thing through my cousin. She uh, She's in a duo kind of thing called Black Gold. So she does shows throughout the city. And she kind of just, whenever she has an opening, it's like, well, you, I mean, if you want to, you can do it. Sure. It's not a problem. She, um, she dives in. As far as the Summerfest, um, I have a, I'm a part of a music collective called Raw's Formation. Um, and a lot of the opportunities come through that. At least that one did. Summerfest. That one did? Yeah, <laughs> Summerfest. How was that for you? It was definitely hot that day. <laughs> uh, it, it was definitely hot that day. But no, it was a good experience. Um, it was cool seeing everybody in person. I, I've never really been pressed to see. Let me not say that. Um, I've never had the opportunity. Yeah, I wouldn't really start. I only see Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> I only see Big Daddy Kane. Mm. But. Um, it was a good experience. Um, nothing I would have expected to be doing right now. Mm -hmm. So it was cool. It was cool. Wish I would have, you know, got to meet. Nah, I took a picture with John B. Okay. He looked a little nervous, though. I think it was he the hair. He looked a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why do you think like it was a, a little hair? Why, why do you think it was the hair? Because my hair was, like, real ferocious that day. Like, it's tame now, but, like, I had to blow <laughs> dry. It was just wow. So when I took the picture... You know, he was kind of like, you know, a little distant. And I looked back like, yeah, he wasn't feeling my hair. You look back like, hey, make it short. So. <laughs> he wasn't feeling the hair like, at it all. It had to be the hair. It, it had to be because I'm cute. I don't know what else he wants me to do. <laughs> so are you nervous performing on stage? Do you still get nervous? Nah, I don't get nervous. Oh, you don't get like, nervous? Easy. Nah, nah. So you get in front of a crowd of 20,000. You're not going to be nervous? I don't think so. She said she know her gift. She got this. It's more so like talking in front of people. I can sing anything, but it's more so talking. Like, that gets me. <laughs> mm. But I'm, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Getting out of your shell. Yeah, I'm trying. Like, I host, the, I host the event tomorrow, the Sing and Hang Out with my music collective. It's four of us. And that's kind of helping me get comfortable with being in front of a crowd and not just singing, not just looking good and singing good, but I have to interact. I have to make sure... You interacted with me. You, you, I gotta make sure I'm going off of that vibe. Mm. You gotta be comfortable enough. Yeah. So yeah. this music hangout. What is that about? The singing hangout. The singing hangout. Man. It's okay. I got it. Man, I got the you. music I hangout. It's bad for me I got to do. You. Man. Um, the singing hangout is kind of just like a, a feel good event. You can come and kick it with us. Even if you don't sing, you don't rap, you can just come and just get a good vibe. But if you do sing, we're gonna put you on the spot. Mm. Okay. You know, but freestyle, singing, rapping, sing. poetry, mm. I'm, mm. Or, or just spectate. Did you hear what so, you just So said? I can come down there and sing? Yeah. No, we don't so, want that to Listen, happen. don't play with me. If I see you come in, I'm <laughs> heading to your mic. That's a bet, and I'm going to blow. So where is this location at? Uh, Avalon. 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 We were at the Pelican Room. Uh, we just switched over to Avalon about a month ago. Okay. I'm going to need to come back to the Pelican Room, you know what I'm saying? We do some things there, so. Yeah, I seen that. I mean, we just needed a, you know, a bigger space. You know, our, oh, y'all growing. Our, yeah, our event okay, is definitely dope. growing. Um, eight to twelve, you know, five dollar pre-sale tickets. You know what I'm saying? Ten at go. the door. Um, shameless would, promotions. Hey, uh, what you do? Nothing crazy. Ain't shameless right now. That's what you're here for. You know, um, definitely come check us out. You know, like I said, you don't you don't have to be comfortable with singing. If you just want to come and just watch, that's cool. But if I find out you're saying, I'm going to let everybody know and you're going to get up there. Bad. So this so. is not the first event, right? No. So how many events have you had so far with them? It's, it's, it's been quite a few. We do it every month, once a month, uh, the last Sunday of every month. So it's 
probably I don't want to slaughter it. It's probably like a year or so. Oh wow, yeah. that's dope. Have you seen growth within that? Oh, absolutely. We started. Well, I didn't start it. I came along gradually, but <laughs> <laughs> um, at first it was Lamont, Trick, and Darren. They were the ones who started it um, in like a basement. And they'll tell you that story. That's why you got to come out. You know Shout what I'm out saying? to them. That's why you got to come we'll out. Come out and do a, do an on the spot interview with them. Oh, listen, time. listen. Let's yeah. make it happen. Um, they just started it like in, in the, the basement. And it just grew from there. Like, my first one I went to was in somebody's bedroom. Mm -hmm. It was in Trigg's room that, that you know. It was know. a singing yeah. hangout in the it bedroom. Was, it was called the, the singing hangout when we first started. And it was in, it was, a, it was probably like five or six of us in, in a bedroom just singing. And then it expanded once we got, I think we went to a Synergy Hair Salon mm -hmm. on Broad Street. That's where um, we first started when we got, like, an actual venue. And then... You know, we started getting opportunities left and right once people started seeing what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. That's and dope. it's it's a unique event. Nobody else is doing that in the city. That's what I was going to say next because I hear a lot of people complain about certain things in Ohio that there's not nothing for artists out there. But mm -hmm. it looks like every time we run across somebody, somebody is doing something. Okay, so y'all need to get hooked. Well, you know, her event is a little different, though. It's the singing hangout. So it's, it's an like opportunity for you to come sing. Yeah, and hang out. but you know, <laughs> no, 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 no. The difference, the difference is, you know, a lot of these people here in Columbus, they want to be all hardcore, male and female that can sing. They want to rap and do mm. trap music and mumble rap and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that's their issue. Yeah, we do need some uh, singers, so we're gonna come find y'all because we got a lot of rappers here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we working on. We got some stuff. We got some stuff. We working on even for rappers. Mm -hmm. We want to do something that focuses on rapping the rapping aspect as well but no one's doing the r&b singing exactly. in the town except that for us and i that's appreciate so that so i'm about to start coming to check it out because i prefer r&b over rap any day oh yeah any i day. agree and we be singing we be singing in there well we're gonna okay. find out here a little bit i can't wait definitely gonna find out here in a little bit i ain't talking about tomorrow i'm talking about today yes so, sir <laughs> um so you say that in your bio it says that you're a soldieress mm-hmm <laughs> so, how old are you? Let me ask that. I'm 21. 21. Wow. 21. Oh. And your idol, Look at your Whitney, old, huh? she used to shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and if I got to know my age, player, I already told them when I went to school. Nobody else oh. need to know, know nothing else about it. All right, move along. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't look like that. I'm that down. wondering, like, when did you graduate? That old. Oh, what year? I, you going oh, to two. So, wow. but, uh. Hey. That makes you 52? You stupid. Oh. Nah, so this ain't Hondo in here. Oh. All right, so. <laughs> your 30s, about 35, 36. Exactly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't old. Nah, that's. I'm seasoned just right. Yeah, yeah, that's not old. Yeah. It's for nice. Ashley. It's up there. You but are. It's not old. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. Since you up there. <laughs> I said this, I I said this that. you know. You up there. Not old. You know nah, you just, yeah, no. I ain't hit that hill yet. I'm good. Nah, you, yeah, you absolutely. Time. So, Whitney Houston, this is what surprised me when I seen all of this. It's like Whitney Houston is. Your idol. Yes, sir. You were barely alive. <laughs> <laughs> barely alive. <laughs> when you she are was pretty young to know who she is, but she's still an yeah. icon. Don't yeah, do no that. doubt. I never said she was oh. an icon, but so how did that become um, a thing for you? Well, I grew up listening to old music. Like that's living with my grandparents for a while, that's all I heard. Mm -hmm. Joe, Luther Van Dross, Barry. Isley Brothers, like that's what I grew up on. Okay. So like the music now, I'm not phased by it. Like I'm not impressed. Mm -hmm. But Whitney, got no good music nowadays. Whitney, like it's just something about her, just her stage presence, her her power. Like I'm I'm a little I'm little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so on that level, I definitely I'm I'm there with her, and just the power that she possessed on stage and off stage with her voice is immaculate. That's mm -hmm. what that's what I want. That's what I've been striving to get to since I started singing. That's dope. Okay. So I'm gonna um, throw some some people at you real quick. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you an either or scenario. Okay. Okay. Whitney or Mariah? Whitney. Okay. How you want? Wait. <laughs> you started off wrong. <laughs> no, I started off with this for a reason. I started off with that for okay, a reason. Okay, go ahead, go These ahead. Icons. Go ahead. You know okay. what I'm saying? Go ahead. Whitney or Mariah? Whitney. Whitney or Janet? Whitney. Okay, I don't want to piss the beehive off, but Whitney or Beyonce? Whitney. How are you? <laughs> and I'm, uh, the reason why I'm the asking The comparison these, you should be using is Mariah Carey or Beyonce. 
Nah. She's like, <laughs> nah. You're throwing her favorite person. I understand in there. that, but know. you know what I'm saying? I just oh. wanted to make sure that it was like, yeah, you know, I love Whitney, but. Beyonce. Nah, I'm not a I'm not a big Beyonce. Be, I'm a beehive person, not you know. At all. She can sing. I'll give her that. Beyonce is one hell of a performer, but there you go. There, that's that old part. Beyonce. Sing part, that sing part. Yeah, I don't, I don't give her that. The perform part, I give her that. Old Beyonce could sing her face off. I'll give her that. It, New Beyonce. No comment. Jay Z. No comment. I, now listen, I'm a Beehive fan, okay? Uh, <laughs> I love Beyonce. Yikes. But I just love Beyonce. Yikes. Don't come for my girl Beyonce. Yikes. So, <laughs> listen, Beyonce, she, she alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she alright. She always been alright. She wasn't even the best going. person in her group. Let's just keep going. Um, <laughs> I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. You can tell it. I mean, Kelly is, is, is often overlooked, but that... Kelly is definitely often overlooked. I yeah, that. even Michelle. I mean, she's messed up a lot in their career on camera. She couldn't <laughs> help that. <laughs> We're going to stop right there. Let's not, let's, let's not do that. Not Michelle. No. Not, not Michelle. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh-uh. You've seen those videos. She's messed up a few times, and Beyonce had to kind of give that look like you got one more shot. It's cool. Yeah, Michelle wasn't the best of the best. Of the best. So if you could sit down and feature, I'm sure you know a lot of artists here in Columbus. Yeah, I do. <laughs> where are you going okay. with this question? So I was going to ask two questions. One, where um, if you could feature with anyone, anyone right now, Collab? who would it be? Not just in Columbus, but anyone, period. Well, um, a couple days ago, I probably would have said Chris. Chris. Brown into the <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, quick story. Chris Brown was supposed to come here to Columbus, Ohio to do a concert and canceled out and said he was sick. And then when turned up in Chicago. Right. <laughs> yeah, I believe him. So everybody's mad at Chris Brown right now here in Columbus, hey, Ohio. Man, listen, he got so off Some the people plane. actually already traveled here, too. That's the crazy part about yeah, it. Yeah, some people from Cleveland and everything. But, Chris Brown, you ain't so, right. You gotta get other than uh, Breezy. Her. Her? Oh, her. she does. Oh, man. She is I need to have a conversation with her. Why? The music, besides that, the, just the <laughs> music that she puts out, I feel like it's literally pages from my life. Oh, that's dope. Like, I hear songs like, man, I need to talk to her about something because she's airing all my day laundry. Man. She, got to, <laughs> she got to chill out. Like, I, I seen her live in concert last year when I went to go see Chris Brown in, you know what I'm saying, Cincinnati. And um, her vocal capacity is crazy. Like, She's one of those artists where she sounds just as good as she does on the record in person. Mm -hmm. And that's important to me. Yes. Like, when I'm creating a song, I want, I want to do all these fantastic things when I'm in the studio, but it's even more important for me to articulate that when I'm in person. Because mm -hmm. that's what you look for. Of course. When you listen to Whitney Houston, I, I always love you. You're, you're listening for, can she still hit that note? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be as resilient as she did in, in the record? So that's what I try to portray. And when I heard her, she was flawless. Like, she's cold. Mm -hmm. I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> That's pretty dope, though. So, Especially her as a new age yeah. R&B artist. That's dope. So, uh, what about those that's here in Columbus? About them. <laughs> would you like to collab with would here in Columbus? Would you like to collab with anybody here in Columbus, Ohio? Not really. Not yet. She haven't found that person yet. I mean, man... Everybody I would want to collaborate with is, is in my music collective. Okay. Mm. It's like 15, 16 of us. Okay. So. So how often is it that you step outside of listening to just that music when it comes to artists here in Columbus? Very rare. Very rare? Very rare. You know what? Matter of fact, no, I would, I would want to collaborate with Kent. Kent is dope. Outside of Raw's formation, I listen to him. He's He's got something. <laughs> <laughs> He's got something. So yeah. this song that you provided us with today, what gave you the inspiration for the song? Um, I was I was dealing with an indecisive man at the time, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the I'm the kind of <laughs> damn boys. I was, man, I was I was dealing with somebody very indecisive, and it's just kind of clear cut. Either you're gonna tell me what's up, or like leave me be. Like I need to hear it. If if I call you and I need the, I didn't know where your head at. You need to let me know what it is. Mm -hmm. 
let's not be indecisive because we're getting too old. I'm not even I'm not even old enough. <laughs> okay, when when I wrote the song, you're I think I was old, but I know. was like 19 when you I wrote the song. Up, okay? Just getting out of but high school, but we, we get it, too old. Right? Yeah, I'm already too old to be doing this with you. I don't want to do it. I don't even want to do it anymore. I'm too young to be dealing with this. I don't want to. I feel it. I feel That's it. pretty dope. So, why don't you go ahead real quick and let everybody know where they can find you, social media, music, all that stuff. Because <clears throat> I know y'all slaughtered my name earlier. This is quite disrespectful. Y'all could have called me. We could have talked about it. My bad. It. Um, my bad. Zaire um, on all streaming, streaming sites, um, Apple, Tidal, Spotify, SoundCloud. That's Zaire, Z-Y-I-R-R-A. Um, on Instagram, Zaire, Twitter, every, everything is Zaire. If you know how to spell it, you can find me. Even if you don't Zaire, know how to say it. Zaire. <laughs> <laughs> you can Zaire, y'all. Yeah. There it is. So it is. You said Twitter, Instagrams, Apple, Spotify, YouTube. The, the whole thing. I, you know, I, I mean, I really wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't suggest YouTube. You know oh. what I'm saying? I got to update YouTube. Uh, you know? Been a while, huh? Yeah, I caught my mom listening to some old videos on there. Like, like, what is cut that? Cut that out. You, they, you pull, pull out of there. <coughs> Sign so that off. you hear some of your own stuff, do it like make you cringe sometimes? My old <laughs> stuff, yes. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I've come a long way. Mm, okay. okay, vocally, <sighs> it's been a journey. So. so. When I go back and look at the videos, it's like, oh, you were so nasal. Get out your throat. What are you singing like that for? <laughs> so do me a favor real quick. Go ahead and throw to the video that we about to perform, or put up for you. And then I want you to sing us out to it. Oh. So Hot spot. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, and you want me to sing Say It Again? Yeah. So you want me to sing Say yeah. It Again? All right. Well, um, you know, single I dropped in March. Um, say it again. Um, you can find it on all streaming platforms: Apple, Tidal, Google Play. I know it's on there too. I don't use it. Um, <laughs> all that, all that great stuff. Um, I just want to sing. That's why I gave it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> That's what we go, call the hot spot for. It. You don't got a lot to kick it, cause it's you I'm trying to kick it with. Nah, you don't got a lot to kick it. Cause it's you I want to kick you with. I want you to want me. I want you to tell me. Let me hear it. Then say it again. Say it again. Say, say it again. You claim you want me. You want to see me. There you have it, Miss Zaire. <laughs> Say it again, coming up right now. Check it out. Check us out, coming back. Show 83, y'all know what to do. Hey. That was dope, girl. Yeah. Look at you with your vocals. Thank you, thank you, uh, Miss Zaire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got the shoe I'm trying to kick it with. You don't got a lot to kick it. Cause it's you I'm trying to kick it with. It's you I'm trying to kick it with. You don't got a lot to kick it. Cause it's you I'm trying to kick it with. Nah, you don't got a lot to kick it. Cause it's you I want to kick it with. I want you to want me. Send the line about how you might 
I like to know how you feel, you too good to be real Do me a favor and tell me again <laughs> I want you Ways. I cannot remember sh probably won't remember this. It took a lot of work. Hey, thanks just snacking and napping and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Coasters for Molly water. Two people pumping and polywag. Uzi La Rib on and got no ass. She like Versace and Prada bag. Pricey, she draped up a shopping tag. Icy, her landing for rock the air. Slipped and almost let him knock her air. Look up, now King Jack done got her air. She need a pop up on body bag. Her chips cost me and her whips cost me. But I'm young and black with a big eye, so she can't seem to keep her lips on. Hey, and all I do is show off to go off so I can get this door off. Show off to go off so I can get this door off. Hey, show off to go off so I can get this door off. And so on and so on. Hey. It took a lot of naps, sleeping cause fools don't know how to rap It's a bad for rappers who try to test, sources say the scene was quite grotesque Crowned me king while I crowned a jester, sat in silk kind of the goose feather You wanna be king but you still a peasant, I taught your wife how to cook a pheasant Sauce out the kitchen, you get the essence, gold on my skin when she kissed the necklace Rapping nowadays ain't no shit for flexing, this how they sound if you get the message Hey, it took a lot of work Thanks just snacking and napping and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. Shit bag. It took a lot of work. Thanks just snacking and napping and rapping. Now I ain't got a word. Now I can vacay and party and just be a bitch bag. Bitch bag. This bad, this bad, this bad, this bad, this bad. Toasting up to 
never giving a fuck My whole life exposed, living corrupt Baby showers at the gentleman's club Smacking booty, throwing Benjamins up But freak the blacks like the middle ten up In shit bag at the credit union Walk in the courtroom, hella zooty Middle finger to your institution I said lean daiquiris, I'm draping juice on Sauce stripping, I be camel soup Two door for short, yeah, I'm crazy cool too I drop the top for short of Betty Boop My life is a movie full of skits and bloopers I should write a novel, publish distribution Bag of dime meter, it's at nine Take her on a flight and leave her in Hawaii Go and find her little sister at the try Damn, I'm ish bag of reed at his fine A douchebag, because I had to put up with you fat look, it took a lot of work Thanks for snacking and nothing and rapping Now I ain't got a word Now I can vacate and party and just be a shit bag Shit bag Shit bag Shit bag Shit bag Shit bag It took a lot of work Thanks for snacking and nothing and rapping Now I ain't got a word Now I can vacate and party and just be a bitch bag Shit Oh, we back live. Hey. Welcome back to show 83. It's your boy L Boog, Booby, okay. Boo Wop, Boo Wop, J Marie, hey, hey, hey. Wahondo. Yeah. Sipping on the sipping on. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all. So, no, no, just, 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 so, who's just going into right now? The petty person? Yeah, oh, our petty you. person. Let me, too. Wow. Oh. <coughs> no, I like we're getting into our petty person of the week right now. Our petty person of the week. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. Mm, man, something in the You catch us up? Uh, nah. Wait. <laughs> Why are you getting on my back like that? <laughs> uh, so, our what petty person happened? of the week is <laughs> going to a young lady that I actually personally know and work with. Uh-oh. Her wow. name is Beth. I'm not going to give her last name, but, you know, with uh, name like Beth. What? Y'all know exactly. Beth the mess. <laughs> <laughs> what she did, she must have been off the So, mess. this young lady, what she did oh. was she went to work. She, uh, I'll give the whole story. She went to work. Wasn't supposed to be. Said in the rap, though. Decided to come Said home. Said in rap, home, bro. Decided to come home. Or not, not decided to come home. She went to work. Wasn't supposed to be at work. She went they to work, went to work, never be to work. When she got there, she walks in, sees her son watching TV, tells him to be quiet, walks in the room mm-hmm. and sees her husband at that point asleep in the bed with another woman. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> damn. Beth with that mess. Yeah, yeah. So, so what? after she sees this, she takes the woman's clothes and throws them out in the street, <laughs> comes back in. <laughs> Covers the girl's mouth and says, if you scream, say a word, or wake him up, I'm going to slit your throat. Told that to the, to the side bitch? Told that to the side chick. God. Yeah. Anyway. This stuff is outside in Damn. the street. Go get it, but don't wake him up. Oh. So she does that. Mm-hmm. Beth then proceeds to get some Gorilla Glue and super glue this man's penis to his thigh. Oh. That's a new one. I like it. I grabbed my shit. Take notes. No. Because I'm taking notes. That ain't even the worst part. Notes. That's not even the I'm worst part. Notes. So she just so happens to know that, you know what I'm saying, she would have he would have to call the fire department <laughs> ambulance or whatever. The, the, the solvent they had to use to get the super glue off of this man's penis and thigh gave him second degree burns on his penis. Oh my oh, God. God. <laughs> Damn! That, that ain't is shit. so funny. What do you mean, petty I person? am doing that. No. Nah. Whoa! That's what? No, no, I'm no. doing that. That's a good one. That's no. Nice she story, gets bro. no pay. She gets the SDFD, bro. She gets the no. Nah, the SDFD going to somebody else. Stick in the fucking D. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Uh, uh, this uh, violation, uh, bro. Uh, hey, yo, so, I like it. So, I like it a lot. So she you, what the fuck do you mean you like she it a lot, yo? Nothing be- I dare you to cheat on me. Hold on, wow. hold on. Excuse me. Uh-huh. I want to know this she question. Did, okay, so she <laughs> and I asked that question. She didn't charge with anything because she knew the police officer that came <laughs> in. She also knew and worked as a volunteer fire fighter. So she knew the fire department and the ambulance. I, I have a question. I have a question. I don't give a deal. So uh, I got a question. Charges. 
Okay, what's your question? It's, a, it's fair enough to say that Beth is white. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is some white, quick question. white corrupt let's stuff. Say, let's say she didn't know the fire department or the police officers. Can that be That's some type definitely of assault. She, yeah, no, she's looking at time yeah. time. Bro, that's jail time. You're a clue. You're a glue my man to my leg, bro. What you mean, bro? I'm that's good. I'm blowing your penis. Babe, what leg. you really mean right that's now, me. bro? Yeah, I, I dad's a punch in your face. Babe, you know what I think she should have did? What? I would have left. Kicked the girl out and crimed in the bed. That's what I thought you were saying. She kicked out, climbed in the bed, <laughs> butt naked. His lady, the lady did. The leg messed with his head, yeah. kind of shit. You know what I mean? And he wakes up and see her just. And then what? She a crazy, you know what I mean? She was probably all wet and slimy. And yo, I don't know. Pause, pause, pause. But, pause. You, know what? but so you know what nigga just climbed out the bunch, right? Yo, she just climbed out the bunch. You know what shit all kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. And she a crazy glue, the man shit. He probably like, oh, I'm about to get right again. She should have just like, she a freak. She should have just laid next to him and just oh, put the black. That would have been a good one. And this, this, wow, bro. I would have been. She no, was I, calm enough, listen though, but she was calm enough to come in there, cover the girl mouth up. I did it. Tell the girl, I will slit your throat if you say anything, if you wake him up. She would have been even more crazier just to lay next to the dude. And but I didn't wake up and be like, hey, man, that was awesome. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Y'all going deeper into the Yeah, that was great, man. That, <laughs> that was that's just petty. That would have been petty. This, that was petty. That, 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 that is not petty, but she's sticking the dick. She's sticking the fuck out the dick, but it's yeah. just... You know what? I want to do this skit like that. You know what? Sticking the fuck out the dick. That's not right, bro. <laughs> Who you going to get to play this role? You! Yeah, right. Facts. <laughs> you going to leave me and my dick. You're going to do your best to your leg. <laughs> my dick is not going to play with. That would have really been petty. You should have did that shit. They tried to get the nigga hard. Get the nigga hard or some shit. Yeah, that would have been funny. Ooh. Not funny, so shout out to Beth the Mess. Nah, Beth, 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 Beth the Mess. Oh, God, I hope that nigga Beth shoot you, bro. <laughs> this yeah. was, hold on, so that's just foul. That was years ago. See, that's that's foul? So that's did they get back together? I hope he shoots you? Fact, I shot the fuck out of that, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm not playing with y'all, but did they end up getting back together? What was no, the end result no, of this no, story? They, they he got the conclusion. Oh. Is it over? She left him. Oh, she left him. Yeah. Why? Because they can't get right no more. Stuck to his fucking leg. Yeah, <laughs> he got third degree. You know what I mean? Third degree burn. Nigga, all day his life was just, just dry humping niggas. <laughs> Wait. The rest of his life, he can't even do shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. What you happened think, was, my shit super glued to my shit. So Don't you? <laughs> That's some wild shit, bro. He Think about her. she doing that, and then you wake up. You know, niggas wake up, like, you know what I mean? Niggas wake up, they be stiff. They, like, that shit had to hurt, bro. <laughs> like, you feel me? Yo! Back down. You feel me? Like, yo, that shit had to be wild. I'm probably taking it too far. I'm sorry. Wow. You're right along. You're definitely moving to taking it too far. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was so, about to say, that's that's who's getting it. Yeah, we're keeping it 100 with Hondo. Yeah, we got 100 with Hondo. Y'all want to keep 100 real quick? Yeah, keep it 1,000. All right, facts. All right, my shit is with Joel Olstein, or Joel, whatever the hell you want to call him. Joel Olstein. Uh-huh. If you know who Joe Holstein is, he's a renowned preacher of the Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, real, real heavy in the Charlemagne turn heavy and thick on the mayonnaise. Okay. You know what I mean? He's so my caucus. man is getting bread out here, B. Oh, he's from caucus? Uh, he, yeah, he's, um, he's out here, you know what I mean? Like, you know, he um, preaching the word of God. Um, on top of preaching the word of God, he's getting money from it. On oh, top of him getting money from it, this man said, you know what, nigga, I'm killing this shit out here. You know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you guys how to look like money. <laughs> so Joe Olstein decided, I'm just going to come out with my own, my own clothing line. <laughs> the Pastoral Suits. <laughs> A.K.A. and they really named Sheep's Clothing. Now, I'm not sure how wise you guys... Put your sound, sound effect for him. So, right before on. we go any further, let's, let's break down what yeah, like, I, I don't, I don't want. I don't know how knowledgeable you guys about this, but... Bam, bam, have you guys bam. ever heard of the saying, mm. a wolf in sheep's clothing? What that mean? You know, the wolf is actually, you know, is a predator. Mm -hmm. So, it dresses as his prey to seduce... They pray, you know what I mean? So you're saying Joel Osteen is the wolf. In, the, in sheep's clothing. And he's dressing as a pastor. Yeah, in sheep's clothing. Like the name of the clothing line is sheep's clothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you name it sheep's clothing? Like, you know what I mean? It's right. creative. 
Nah, he's creative. He made you think. Right. Now nah, it made me ask. Or, or. I'm hoping it makes some religious right? people think. Oh. That's what it's all boiling down. I'm hoping it makes. The man that named the shit sheep's clothing. In your Bible, it talks about the wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm-hmm. Like, this man got yeah. private jets. Now, I mean, like, this up there, how you. So he capitalizing I, off of Jesus. This is the reason why I hate yes. religion. This is the reason why I hate religion. Mm. Like, I hate religion because it divides people and it also. Um, um, it, it divides people and it also, um, let me see, it, it's a way of controlling people. Mm-hmm. People will believe in things way beyond themselves before they'll believe in themselves. Right. You know what I mean? Now, whatever makes you be a better person, I'm great with that. Like, if you, if, if, if you believe in God, it makes you a greater person. But when you go ahead and support people like this, right. Joe O's thing, Cash, what's, what's the dude's name? Creflo Dollar. Dollar. Creflo Dollar. Wait, the man's name is Creflo cousin. Dollar. What is it? He's a pastor. He's Cre- a pastor. Cre- Creflo Dollar. Creflo Dollar. He's a pastor. What that mean? The greatest that's, word, that's his name. That's, that's his real name. name. You know what I mean? But he's a high end, he's an high end pastor. Is that whatever. his real name? I don't, yeah. know. I don't know if it's his like, real name. He's like a TDA James, bro. High is Creflo. My thing is, like, if you're if you're for the Lord or your thing is like, um, this is wrong, man. Right. We got actually broke people every day in the ghetto, in the hood, or they hood, modern family, not I mean every day spending their money and believing in the stuff you say and free to capitalize. So are we keeping it on her? Yeah, I'm keeping it on it. That's their fault that they broke. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sorry. And you know what? Then they you kept it 100 with that. You're right. Man, I'm keeping it 1,000. And that, right. folks, is keeping it 100 with 100. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being stupid. <laughs> Spend your money out here. You know what I mean? All these, all these, all these dudes is taking advantage of you, bro. Yeah. Because they, like, the man literally named his clothes Sheep Clothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I think that's dope. That's true. <laughs> Bruh, marketing? Yes, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> if you follow the way of Jesus, bro, you are the devil, bro. Like, you literally just told me you're the devil out here, bitch. But the issue is, people will look at that and defend the hell out of it. People yeah, will look at it and be like, hey, it's just... They defend it's Trump every day. <laughs> my He's point. That I was literally going to... Where the hell my bell at? Damn it, we need a bell out here. Bing! Bing! Bing, can you build a bell for us? Dude, we got a bell. <laughs> we got the New York <laughs> Bell. We got a New York Bell out here, you know what I mean? He's a big bell. bell. <laughs> yeah, so we got to jump into this SDFD before we get up out of here with y'all, man. Um, <clears throat> Booby, you want to go first on the SDFD? My uh. SDFD. <sighs> nah, I ain't got one this week. I ain't even think that do it. Wow. Um, yeah, nah, I ain't got one today. We're going to fight. Well, Jay Marie? I really did that. So my SDFD goes to... Kinda. There you go. Yeah, I was looking for he one. Was this I was looking for he one. Cause he canceled on us because it was his nephew's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. On our first ear show. It just goes to him. Bro, it's, it's my nephew. I ain't seen him like in 15 years. I gotta That's do this up. one time. How old are you? Know what I mean? 17? <laughs> <laughs> I've mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, been the fucked up stepdad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Step uncle nigga. Yeah, you know I mean? step uncle. And I mean, like, what, what's that? Like, I ain't paying my child support, dude. So, hey, you know what? I feel this it. This is a perfect time right now. To hey, you know. Ain't you black? Yeah. All right, then. We keeping it 100 with Hondo? Stupid. I shouldn't even oh do that. God. Hey, black people don't celebrate their birthday on their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit on Sunday. Yeah. Fuck him. I told you that. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, he got to be black. Niggas, you get you, you get your son the morning. You get him a piada? A pinata? A piada. A piada. A piada. A piada. A piada. Nah. A piñata. Yeah, I kind of fucked up because I meant to spend his own bread on his birthday. Though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I got a gas man to get his head, nigga. But yo, if you want to do some extra, you want to eat? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm gonna need, need you to come out your pocket. Alright, let's right? move along. Move along. Uh, what's your STFD? Oh, my STFD, man. Damn, I can't do that because I'm gonna get fired. My STFD goes. My STFD goes to my little nephew, man. Like on God, like I, I spoke to a little homie that day. You know, I, I try to let him do his thing. Now he's 17, do his thing. <laughs> So I said, yo, just make sure you be home early because you ain't do your, your, your tasks today that you need to do, right? Same nigga that you canceled on us for. 
Okay. Cause, cause, cause nigga ain't got no loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> so yo, make sure you be back, you know what I mean? Alright. So son run up to my room, I did get back like mad late. Hey like, yo, where you was at? Like, oh, oh, it was crazy. You know what I mean? Her brother. Her you know what I mean? Her, her dad be beating on her and stuff, you feel what I'm saying? And I ain't with that letting niggas put their hands on females. Oh, he had a story. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. Well, yo, say you ass though. Like, what, what, what do you mean when that niggas put their hands on female? You ass. Like, the, the last conversation we had, like, nigga punched in your eye, he was crying about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean that you about to say and be like, got the save on my nigga? Like, yo, who you about to say? This is a dad, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? But dad whooping the ass, you probably fucked something Time up. Whoa, hold on, pause. So the dad whooped the ass and he was yeah, yeah. And my, my, yeah, yeah. So my neighbor like, yeah, you know what I mean? He whooped the ass. So I'm go, I, I went over to her crib to make sure nobody put no hands on her. He was gonna do though. That's, that's what John Delio <laughs> say. You ass, my nigga. Like I ain't even get mad that you lay and shit. Oh, like yo, shit. yo, yo, my nigga, you ass though. Like you for the whole story. Like, say ass again. Moral of the story: <laughs> you, you gotta ass. ask me for permission. Like not, nah, I'm thinking like yo, you ass. What are you going there to defend, my nigga? And this ain't even your buns. <laughs> <laughs> these ain't even your buns. And you going out there to fight? But I mean, you about to die behind some buns? You ain't even touch it. You know what I mean? Because the dad beat something. Yo, bro. Like, yo, listen, man. Listen, man. Listen. Don't come to my house no dumbass stories like this. Like, now nah, you take your cell phone? Nah, I ain't What's taking cell phone. Um, I didn't. No, nah, it's kind of hard raising a 17 year old because he's a different 17 year old for me. Okay. So my point was that I just, I just hit the nigga in his little arm, little two, three times. Like, yo, listen, man, stop being stupid. Yeah, right? Time out. Whoa. Yeah, Hold, the fuck up. Up. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. He is seventeen. Yeah. And you hit him in the arm two, three times. Yeah, I just punched him a little, just to touch him, like a little shit, real. He didn't even cry. You cried. <laughs> nah, I, I, I did. I, 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 I left. I'm like, you know what? Damn, man, you hit my nephew, man. I don't even feel. Yeah, but you know, so I get on that STD for trying me, man. But I'm like, yo, bro, you got to. He didn't even try you. He didn't do nothing. You got away with the whole shit. I give myself that STD. <laughs> <laughs> STD, that that's how you call somebody through their situation. Right? I'm glad I talked to the shower with you guys because I needed that. I came out an hour, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, what, I what about the L say? Yeah. The rest? Yeah, schedule, yeah, schedule session. another session, B. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Then he going to punch me the rest of this week, B. Damn, Fuck that guy. That boy don't put on punishment the rest of the week. We didn't do nothing. Now, you have to actually talk to my people to figure out what's going on right now because I'm like, yo, this you ain't gonna try to do a love story. You ain't even tapping the buds, bro. It's the village to raise a child. I'm That's done with y'all. All right, bro. What's your STFD? See my nigga right there. My guy. My guy's on it. I'm gonna double up this week, man. My STFD goes to two white people. The South Pole and Major Collar? No, no, shut up, punk. South Pole and Major so the first is a lady in New York, Long Island. Wow, I ain't talking about my city, bro. You know I don't fuck with that. What's going that on? That decided to give her kids the assignment of making up funny captions for slaves. Oh yeah. Wait, that's what? Right. That's yeah, catchy. I, I that. that was New York though, bro. Anyways, so That was New York. Where in New, New York? Was that New York State? Well, Long Island. Man. Are we still mad at slavery? Yes. The hell you yeah. Mean? Okay. Let's. Okay. She told the kids to make That's funny not- captions about pictures of people in actually the dying in slavery, bro. Yes. What, what is wrong with you? The fuck. Just- Uncle Ruckus, <laughs> bro. I swear to God, bro. PSA funny. I didn't chuckle. Auntie Ruckus, bro. <laughs> I just had to. I'm <laughs> sorry, bro. Continue. What's your second one, bro? Man, I'm surprised that no, I didn't say goddamn. My second STA FD goes to. Bobby Boo Wop for laughing at that shit right Thank there. Thank you, bro. Damn. Uh, I'm dead ass surprised you had those say make America great again, sometimes. bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna give it to the second one that was just out there yelling out nigger, 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 nigger. Get to Wait, him. what? What? <laughs> <laughs> How can you say that? They deserve it, bro. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a so, good hype man. So you Kanye, <laughs> bro. Yeah, my third STFD goes to the lady that was out in front of CF, CBS mm-hmm. yelling out, nigger, 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 nigger. <laughs> I will kill all niggers if it wasn't against the law. <laughs> Did they say that? Yeah, they had the nerve to apologize and say, oh, well, you know, I was drunk. No, she- That's not how I really feel. <laughs> No, you know what I thought you was about to say? Man, 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 I'm sorry, man. man, man <laughs> I thought you was about to say she apologized and say I love all niggas. <laughs> that would be Probably a nigga that broke her heart. That's why she felt like that. Uh-uh. Nigga, nigga, niggas, I'm going to kill all niggas, but I okay. love all niggas. Yes, plot twist. 
that's the show, y'all. Thank you for tuning in for today. For Juan Hondo, Booby Boo, Booby Boo, 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 your boy L Boog. Check us out again next week, same time, same place. We got a better show for y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's going to get better as we go. Okay. Show 83, we're about to Do it. <laughs> <laughs>